first pitch here from Carter Holt. And it's in there for a strike. It's elite bat to ball skills. There is not a lot of swing and miss. That was on cue. <laughs> well done, KP. Boy, right down wow. the middle. Exactly where he was trying to go with it. To the right side, right underneath the glove of R.J. Austin out into right field. So a nice at bat by Calvin Harris. Eight homers already. Lifts that one high in the air down the right field line. R.J. Shrek has room and will make the catch, and Alderman is retired. Out in the outfield for the Rebels. First pitch to Bradfield. And a kick right out of the gate by Chatagnier. That's going to drop in. They were playing deep. Groff will come in, catch it on the short hop, and they'll have him at the corners with nobody out. Smokes it, club, double play ball. How about that? A line drive snagged by Calarco, who happened to be standing right on top of the bag, and they double up Diaz. To really make a run this year, Bulger has to be more offensive than he has been. Lifts it high in the air. Groff. Blachet do his right, make the catch. First two to Calarco and this at bat, both breaking balls. First three. Well, how about that? He was so heavy fastball. Here's the three, two. Got him looking. Inning is over. Another strikeout for Carter Holt. Fights it off. Little blooper. That one is going to drop. Maldonado's 333 average will tick up a few points after that base hit. Slaps that one out to left. Alderman on the run. That one is out of here. Home run. Parker Nolan is second of the year. A two-run shot. There's the power that Vandy's looking for right here. So Parker Nolan takes a two-seam fastball outer third, maybe not exactly where Doherty wanted to throw it. It just rides the wind right out of here. Backspin to left center. Alderman thought maybe this ball had hit off the wall, but carries just above that 375 sign. Vandy's on the board first. Another base hit, the fourth of the game for this Vanderbilt offense. Ground ball to the right side. Chatagne had him played up the middle because of the runner, and that will get him at the corners with one out. Slowest walk to the mound in college baseball. When he needed to. Yeah. <laughs> Throw down to second. That one hops up in the air, but right to Chatagne. First at bat, his average is now 229 and swings and misses there. Jack Doherty does not have a strikeout yet. And that stat no longer exists. Went breaking ball, got the strikeout with the transfer portal, and that one is going to sting Leger. It got him on the back hand. Ugh. Clearly got him right on the, yeah. the fingers at the top it, it, hand. It, look, it didn't take him long on the, the reviews. How about the nice job of hitting by Gonzalez? They had the left side wide open, and he slaps it down the line for a double, and Ole Miss has him at second and third with one down. What a base hit by Jacob Gonzalez. Out to center field, Bradfield backpedals, backpedals, and will catch it at the track, and that'll get the first run in for Ole Miss. As LeJay touches home plate, Gonzalez winds up at third, and it's a two-to-one game now. Harris led the team in batting average last year at 336. It goes down to get that one and has a two-out RBI single. Well, you may not want to go up there left-handed, but Calvin Harris seems to be comfortable with it. Was involved, especially late in the season last year offensively. Now he's running. And he is in there safely. Different sound when Alderman hits it. Ground ball back up the middle. Austin, no play. Knocked it down. Runners at the corners. Popped him up. R.J. Austin says he has it. Waves everybody off and will make the catch. But a good rebound inning for Ole Miss. Oh, nice off-speed pitch. And Shrek with a strikeout on a 3-2. 
Got him. Inning is over. Pitch 61, pretty good. Coach Clem, Laugh, Carl Lafferty. I mean, just great dudes. I would much prefer if you go to a third base or a first base umpire to ask. I think it's a tough call for home plate umpire. Man. Shift was on. R.J. Austin makes the play and a good comeback inning for Carter Holt. One, two, three. Lifts that one high in the air. Ethan Groff on the run to the wall. Home run. Maldonado with a second of the year. We were talking with Mike Baxter, the hitting coach for this Vanderbilt team before the game, and, and Maldonado was one that he pointed out as really starting to take the next steps, man. That wind was howling earlier. It's not blowing a whole, rot, a whole lot right now, and he just hit this out to the biggest part of the ballpark. Off the end of the bat, that's going to go for extra bases. Vastein turns the corner. He will wind up at second base. How about that base hit? Bradfield slaps that one to left. Vastine will score. Bradfield stretches it into a double, an RBI double it is. And it's 4-2 Vanderbilt. Trying to get some of Doherty's attention to second and take it off a home play. Chatagne, what a play! No pick at first. Here comes Bradfield. The throw won't be made, and it's a run for the doors. They lead it 5-2. to two. We talked about the defensive shot. Yeah, he gets there in time. The throw is over there in time, but Anthony Clarko had to go a ways to get it, so Bradfield kind of sizing it up the entire time. Hits. Third base, the minute that that ball got just a little bit away from Anthony Calarco over at first base. And so that pitch count up there just because of the offensive Vandy, and now it just keeps on going. So RJ Shrek, they were playing into pull again right there, shoots another single to left field. That's one, two, five hits in the inning. Well, excuse me, swing. Gonzalez charges, throws, got him. Inning is over, but a good inning. For Vanderbilt, they pick up three, they take the lead. Gonzalez caught by Austin, who elevates to make the catch. He just did something that you've never done before in your life. <laughs> Jump that high. <laughs> Lifts this one out to center. Bradfield's got a long way to run. On his horse, mm -hmm. makes the catch. Wow, did he cover some ground. Yeah, LSU at AM, that one starts tomorrow. Ground ball out to Gonzalez. Whoa, that one got up in the air and safe at first. The one two to Maldonado. Boy, another one blistered off the bat. Out into right center. They will hold up Austin at third base. They're at the corners with nobody out. You just wonder how much longer Ole Miss is going to stay with Jack Doherty. I got to think that's probably it right here. That is high in the air. Gonzalez shades to his right. Will make the catch, and that'll be the first out of the inning. Lifted in the air to center field. Groff backpedals a few steps, makes the catch. This will be good enough to get Austin home from third base. And it's now a 6-2 ball game. Vanderbilt out in front. That's a great at bat. Ground ball to the right side. Chatagne. Makes the play, and that'll do it for the Commodores. Thought they should have been in the big dance and loses to Moorhead State. And a base hit, infield base hit by Calvin Harris to start things off in the sixth inning for Ole Miss. That's off the bat. Wow. And what a catch in left field. Unbelievable grab by the freshman Matthew, the sophomore Matthew Polk, who lays out on a ball that had to leave the bat at 115 or better. And his route had to go back towards the wall. He couldn't take a direct route to the baseball because it was hit so hard. And we talk about Bradfield's route a few innings ago. This one is perfect. Lays out and steals what at least off the bat looked like it was going to be extra bases for Kemp Alderman and, and that that's a game changer right there. That's one you circle. 
That one gloved at third. Diaz, are they going to turn two? Oh, my goodness, what a play. What an inning defensively for the Vanderbilt Commodores. Doesn't get much better than that. Mitch Morrell on, out of the bullpen gets the strikeout. Swing and a miss. Back-to-back -back strikeouts now to the top of the order. That was that was the most overwhelming thing of anything I just said that entire inning. Hold on. What? Club, and they're one of the most powerful offenses in the country. And tonight it's been Vandy's defense and the two home runs that have made a huge difference. Draws the walk, first and second now with one out. Ground ball, this could be two. Austin turns it, and the inning is over. Ground ball to third, and that one off the leg. It looked like it caught Leger in the shin and kicked it toward the fence. Called strike three, second out of the inning. They must have talked fast tonight. Hour 51. Called strike three. Good inning for Morrell. And lifts that one up in a four-hit game for Calvin Harris. Inning is over. You're able to get through the balance of the game with one more arm. That helps over the course of the weekend. This ball is hammered deep to left. Into the seats. Home run, Matthew Polk, his third of the year. Have yourself a night, Matthew. This one didn't exactly sneak out of here, Dave Neal. The wristband, the wrist. Oh, see, that's slapped into left center, going to drop in. He'll be adding a color to the wristbands. After tonight, his second double, his third hit for Jonathan Vastine in the nine hole. Sharply hit, backhanded at first base. Galarco underhand toss. Kimbrell got there just in time. And there's the walk. They'll be at the corners now with one out. That ball is hammered. Out to right center. And that is a souvenir for the third row. A three-run shot. Well, so much for that left-on-left -left approach right there. R.J. Shrek didn't want anything to do with it. That's the fourth home run of the day for Vandy and the fourth of the season for R.J. Shrek. Deep into the night, last two games, 25 runs. The five games before that, 24 total. That now the 15th hit of the night for Vanderbilt. They give up 15 hits, make four errors. Smoked over the glove of Chatnier. Out into right field, another run comes in. And R.J. Austin would be the, the difference in this one. He's at third base. And that will be the difference in the game right there. That should do it in the yeah. new 10-run rule as it's 12-2. to two. Ole Miss not used to this. No. No, it's, it's one thing to get walked off. It's another thing to get walked off in the eighth because it's a 10-run game. Uh,